Hi, I'm Jill at Ingvid, and today's lesson uh, we're looking at British money, um, the UK currency. Okay, and we're, we're going to be looking at the present day currency, the notes and coins, and then in the second part of the lesson, we'll be looking at the older currency, which we had um, some time in the past, which is a bit different. Okay, so just looking um, briefly at the present day, um, I'll be showing you in a minute some actual notes and coins. So these are the main numbers of notes and coins, the pounds and the pennies. Okay, and just to explain that penny is the singular and there are two plural versions, pennies and pence. So you can talk about 20 pence, 50 pence, or 50 pennies. Most people say pence when they're giving the, the figure 10 pence, five, five pence, two pence, and then obviously one penny or one P. Sometimes people just say um, P, just the letter P, 50p, 20p. So we use that as well. Okay, so let's have a look at some of the actual notes and coins. Okay, so here are some examples of uh, the notes and the coins. And starting at the top, we don't have a £50 note, unfortunately. But here is a £20 note in a nice mauve colour. They all have the Queen's head on one side, Queen Elizabeth II. On the other side, there's a portrait of a famous person who's made some big contribution to uh, the national life. Uh, so we've got here Adam Smith, the economist, going back to the 18th century. Okay, so that's a £20 note. Next one, a £10 note, again the Queen's head. Now there's a slang term for the £10 note, which is a tenor. T E W N E R, tenor. Okay, so turning this one over, we have Charles Darwin, the scientist. Okay, uh, 19th century. And then moving on to the five pound note, and the slang term for this is a fiver, F I V E R, fiver. And there's the queen again, and on the back we have a woman this time, token woman. Um, Elizabeth Fry, who was a prison reformer in the early 19th century. Okay, so that's a fiver. Okay, and then, oh, moving down to here, this is, there is a two pound coin that's bigger than this one, but the same colour, two pound coin. This is a one pound coin, and the slang term for that is a quid, Q-U-I-D. Okay, then half of a pound is the 50, 50 pence piece. And this has this distinctive edge, little flat edges to it. Okay, and on the back, this is the back of the coin, Britannia, the sort of female figure who represents Britain, Britannia. Okay, and so that's 50p. Moving on to the 20p piece. Okay, the queen's head on the front and another design on the back. That also has little flat edges. Right, uh, we don't have a 10p, um, but that's slightly bigger than these 5p's and has a circular edge. So these are 5p's, um, a 2 pence piece or a 2p, and finally 1p one pence or one penny. There used to be a half half penny, but they they were taken out of the currency a few years ago because they were so worthless really. Okay, so that's the current um, currency. And let's just go back now and have a look at a few more slang terms uh, for money. Okay, so we've just looked at the slang terms for the notes, tenor, fiver, and quid, and then there are a few other terms, ready money or readies, that's, you know, cash, cash is another useful term, it's not a slang term, but 
Um, people say they would like to be paid in cash or do you have the cash? So this is the ready money, the readies, rather than paying by credit card or debit card or cheque. Okay, uh, folding stuff, that's the paper notes, it folds up, so it's called the folding stuff. Um, there are two terms to do with food, bread and dough. The dough is what you put in the oven and the bread is what you take out, bread and dough. Um, that's also a word for money. Um, dosh, loot, lolly, they're all sort of quite comical humorous terms for, for money as well. Okay, so now we'll move on to look at the older currency. Okay, so now let's have a look at the older currency before 1971. And the reason I'm showing you this, you may be wondering, is because if you're reading old books, old novels like by Charles Dickens and novelists like that, Jane Austen, some of these coins that we no longer use might be mentioned, like the shilling in particular. The shilling, maybe half crown, a florin, uh, the guinea. So um, I'll just run quickly through these and uh, explain that we had to have this decimalization because we were joining the European community and it, we needed to have a simpler currency because all the other European countries had a currency based on units of 10 and 100. So at, at this time, before 1971, we had 240 pennies in a pound, not 100 pennies. We had a shilling which came between the penny and the pound. So there were 12 pennies in a shilling and 20 shillings in a pound, okay? We had a coin called a half crown, which I'll be showing you in a minute, which was worth two shillings and sixpence. So that's two and a half shillings. Uh, a florin coin worth two shillings. This line here is how the shilling was shown, like that. We had a ten shilling note, so that was worth half a pound. And also we had a one pound note, whereas now we have a one pound coin. Um, and the smaller coins... Sixpence, three pence, one penny, a half penny. And long before this, this was no longer used in the 70s, but a, a quarter of a penny called a, a farthing. And I'll be showing you one of those. There was also a guinea. This word could come up if you're reading old books, which was worth one pound plus one shilling, i.e. 21 shillings. And that was a, quite an elite kind of coin that was for sort of expensive dress shops and for men's suits. They were priced in guineas rather than pounds and it just meant the shop got more money from people so it was a bit of a trick really. Okay so let's have a look then at the actual coins. Okay so just to show you what some of these coins look like. This is the half crown, two shillings and sixpence. This is the florin, worth two shillings. Um, this is the shilling, that's the shilling, worth 12 pennies. This is the sixpence, six pennies, half a shilling. These, um, these are three worth three pennies each. And this was the more recent one. This was a much older one, little silver three penny pieces, okay? These are the penny, which is quite big. This is the halfpenny, half penny. And this is the farthing, worth a quarter of a penny. Okay, so I hope you found that um, interesting, a little historical information that might be useful for you if you're reading older literature. And just to mention the present currency as I said, is the pound. We don't belong, although we're part of Europe, the European Union, we don't have the euro currency. Most of the other European countries do, but in the UK, we're not part of the euro currency. And I think most people don't want to be. We want to keep our pound currency. So um, let's hope we do. <laughs>
<laughs> so I hope that's been interesting. And if you'd like to do the quiz on this topic, please go to the website ingvid.com and, and do the quiz. And if you'd like to subscribe to my YouTube channel, that would be great. And I hope to see you again soon. Okay, bye for now.